Today, I graduate high school. If you had asked me now if I regret joining Hua Chong four years ago, I won't be able to give you an answer. As much as my high school experience has been filled with amazing people and learning opportunities I would not be able to find anywhere else, it has also been a very tumultuous period in my life. I want to take this video to reflect and look back on my four years of high school. Let's start from the beginning. I don't remember much about Sec 1, but I remember it was just a lot of adjusting, getting to know the expectations of the environment I was put in and adjusting to them. I used to be in track and field during Sec 1, but at the end of Sec 1, I had a spinal injury and I was forced to leave track, which I put a lot of heart into at that point of time, so it's a bit tough. In my Sec 2 class, although I had a lot of friends, but I had very little close friends. Like, I didn't really have a clique in class, so it was a bit more socially challenging for me. It was also a really dark year where I had a lot of existential crises about the meaning of education and of living. And it was just a period of time where I just overthinked a lot. At the end of Sec 2, my grades were good enough to qualify for a special program, so I was put in a dilemma of choosing between SMTP, HP, CLEP, CTP, Normal IP or BSP. And I've realised I was decently interested in the humanities, so I joined BSP as a way to double down on my strengths, and it's been a journey since. Of course, it goes without saying, it's a very high pressure environment. Honestly, everybody seemed like they're doing okay, but I think in actual fact, like all of us were struggling. La. But the thing is, everybody in our class, like the people are really chill, la, so I'm really thankful for that and it definitely made the two years more bearable. Also, most of my classmates will know that I've been surviving on very little sleep. Sec 3 was also a time where I got more involved pursuing video editing, photography and basically more creative stuff and a lot of the workload during Sec 3 came from personal passion projects, schoolwork, as well as the obligation I put on myself to help everybody who asked me to make a video for them which surprisingly was a lot of opportunities because there are very little people in this school who like film stuff or like edit stuff. So I got to make a lot of friends and connect with people which I'm very grateful for. But also it has led to a lot of burnouts because sometimes I didn't know how to say no and I went out of my way to help people when I didn't have the time for myself. And from that I learned to be more okay with saying no because if you don't prioritize your time, people will prioritize it for you. And also at that point of time, I already had a bit of passion and built a bit of foundation in video editing and photography and I was very glad to be able to join Ha Chong's Media Tech Club which was really a more creative environment and I was able to teach my juniors, learn from them and be able to shoot more school projects and events. Sec 4, as academically intensive as it was, was where I felt things started to pick up. I started to not overthink as much, which was really, I think, the key, and to enjoy life for what it was. Not all work needs to be done. La. Sometimes, there are more important things like friends and rest that you should prioritize over work. La. It's really a give and take, so you win some, you lose some. In general, Sec 4 was a really humbling experience and I've realised in every area you look, there will be someone more skilled than you. Opportunity can be given in a very unequal way, but life's not meant to be fair anyway, so I think it's more important to just focus on what is uniquely yours and double down your strengths in that way. I found that I enjoy being around people that make me feel comfortable with little pressure to put out a mask. 
Honestly, the most valuable thing in high school is the friends I've met and the teachers I've known, the experiences I've taken away and the lessons I've learned, and this is really something that no one can take away from me. During Sec 4, I also did a service learning project, where I volunteered and engaged underprivileged children. Although showing up weekly and volunteering was hard, it was more than worth it being able to build a connection with the children and it's one of my proudest achievements of the year. The most important part of this process are the friends that I've made. So I wanted to dedicate this part of the video to thanking some of my friends. Thank you Sean, Sheldon, Felix, Iyang, Kunyu and Xingfeng. I really appreciate that we're able to not take things too seriously and you guys taught me that you are never too old to have fun and how being in a clique feels like. Thank you Yicheng for being a constant since P5 and being someone I could bounce thoughts, emotions and ideas off of. We've definitely grown a lot in these 6 years and I hope it only gets better from here. Thank you Timothy. Creating is always a lonely journey and I'm thankful for the times that we go shoot together, talk and it's always a good time having you around. And fast forward to now, it's commencement ceremony, the mark of the end of 4 years of secondary school. It's pretty cool seeing all my friends decked out in suits with glam outfits to serve as a point end to all the memories we've had. Not being sad because it's over, but as a celebration of the memories during this period of our lives, and it was nice while it lasted. Moving forward, i found that for a lot of my friends, this might be the closest we'll ever get. And once you break out of the social construct of a class, We'll go back to scrolling on Instagram and replying to each other's Instagram stories every few months and texting a bit. And maybe for a few, catching up every six months or a year. But the truth is we'll never see each other as frequently and never be as close as before. And for me, that's the hardest truth to swallow. After the dinner, my friends and I went to Max for supper because the food wasn't enough and my friends and I all had appetite for more. It was a night to remember as we walked on empty streets, chilling, vibing and enjoying our last night out together.